When you're walking to and from the camera, you want to do this again barefoot and in a relaxed state. Don't try to walk like a tin soldier. Don't try to pretend. You just got to tune it out that somebody or that if anybody were watching you, that they'd be studying your gait. So just walk at your normal pace. You're going to basically pay attention to how your foot is striking the floor. Normal gait is heel strike, mid stance, toe off. It's not lateral heel, center of the body, and then pushing off the big toe. Because most people's feet turn out, they, they, a lot of times they push off the inside of the big toe area, and then they end up forming some kind of bunion or protection mechanism against that. So go ahead and take a walk. Just walk across the room four or five times. Get a good feel, barefoot, remember that. How your feet are striking the floor and compare your left to your right. Then you're going to put your hands on your head with your hands interlaced, your shoulders relaxed down, and your elbows back. Then I'm gonna have you walk across the room to and from the camera, so you're walking forward, turning around, walking back, all that stuff, and you're comparing. When, when with my hands on my head, I actually took my shoulders into a better position artificially. How that, how did that affect my foot strike? Ninety percent of you will feel an improvement in balance and an improvement in that center of the heel, center of the ball of the foot, and overall five toes from where it was before, which is most likely foot turned out, lateral heel pushing off the big toe. Which that is a inefficient way of walking or running. We've got to get you to a point where that straightens up. So a lot of our pro athletes, we will actually have them do their workout with their hands above their head for a portion of it, especially when I start to see a postural breakdown due to fatigue or due to their dysfunction taking over.